Hi guys, um, in this video we're going to talk about coordinate geometry. To illustrate that, uh, we have an exercise here to better understand it. Our exercise is about a diagram that shows a triangle ABC in which A has a coordinate 1 and 3. Right here, this is what we got right here. And B has a coordinate 5 and 11 right here. And the angle A, B and C, A, B and C is 90 degree here. And we also have the point X lies on AC here. So what we're going to do here is to find the equation of BC, this equation here, BC, and then the coordinates of the point C. First of all, we will find uh, the gradient of AB. We can call it M1, I mean sub 1, or M sub AB. And M sub 1 is the difference between the values of B and the values, I mean the Y values, of B and A and the X values of B and A. And then we can have here, we know that B has as Y value 11 minus 3 for A and over 5 and 1 for, for the X values. And that's going to give us 2. It means that our gradient here of this line here, AB, is 2. And since BC is perpendicular to AB, we know that the product of uh, the gradients of two lines that are perpendicular should be given us minus one and that's what we're going to do here and that means that we're going to have m2 therefore is equal to minus one and a half because we just passed you know m1 to the other side and divided by minus one and this is the gradient and the gradient of the new equation of the new line bc and the equation bc can be written therefore as y equals to minus one half x plus c and we need to find this c right here so we need c that's what we said the y-intercept of the equation is c of course of bc per definition we know that the gradient of bc is going to be m2 that's how we're going to call it and it means that m2 minus one and a half will be equal to the y i mean the difference between the y value of c and b that be here uh, yc minus 11 over xc minus 5. This means that we're going to have minus 1 half times y xc minus 5 equal to yc minus 11. Therefore, we can write yc in terms of xc. I mean, by passing uh, 11 to the other side, it takes a plus. And then we will have yc equal to minus one and a half xc plus five and a half plus eleven. Therefore, the equation of bc is yc equals to minus one and a half xc plus twenty seven and a half. You can even leave it like this. And then we will call this equation equation one. Now we want to find the coordinates of c. We know that the coordinate, I mean the gradient of AC is equal to the gradient of AX since X lies on AC. I mean the, the both gradient are equal. The gradient of AC will be equal or AX, of course, that's what we said, equals to, I mean, the Y value of X, 4 minus the Y value of A, 4 minus 3, and the x value minus i mean the x values between them four minus one it gives us one third and this is the gradient of this line here therefore we can use the gradient by writing the equation of the gradient you know tending to c to try to find the coordinate of the point c and one third of course is going to be equal to um yc minus ya over xc minus xa and that's what we have here we can even put x also of course and this is yc minus 3 over xc minus 1 or you can also use i mean you can use a gradient either you use ac or xc it's going to be the same because x lies on the the line the line ac but of course if you use this gradient here of ax it's going to give us one third times you know just multiply cross multiply xc times xc minus one times one third equal to yc minus three 
So we add three here, I mean three on both sides. That's gonna give us what one third of xc minus one plus three equal to yc. Now we can solve, I mean, we're having here yc equal to one third of xc plus one, now uh, minus one plus three, and yc equal to minus one and a half of xc, xc plus 27 and a half. So we can work out these two equation one and two simultaneously, either using, I mean, the simplest way would be substitution, just substitute one of them in one other because they are all equal. So we're going to put, take this yc here and put it right here or vice versa. That's going to give us one equals two. And this means that we're having minus one half xc plus 27 and half equals one third of xc minus one plus three. And working that together, we're going to have five xc equal to 65. And therefore we're going to divide by five. This is going to give us xc equals to 13. And then we will replace yc by its value either in this equation here or right there okay we put xc in this equation right here or there and have the value of yc equal seven and this is of course therefore the coordinate of the point c with 13 and seven once again um, in this exercise there are two major information that are giving us kind of a clue of what to do when it comes to uh, such a problem. First of all, we're having the gradient. As you can see here, we know that if you have the gradient, if you have a line with all these values, B and A, and that the other line is, you know, forming a 90 degree and perpendicular to that other line, it's easy to find, once you got the gradient of this line with all these value, to find the value of the other line. Okay, and that's what we did here. So we're going to use the gradient, this formula of the particularity, to find the gradient of BC. And the second information here is to notice that this point X lies on AC. That definitely means that the gradient of AX applies to the gradient of AC. And that's what we did. And finally, we can come to find the values of the point C with 13 and 7. And that's how it works with uh, such an exercise. Okay, thank you for watching again. Until next time, bye-bye.